healthy, um, if they're healthy, then as a trainer, we can start working on the behavior problem that the owner has, assuming that behavior problem is not related to their health. Okay, so the second tier after mental and physical well-being is antecedent control. Uh, antecedents are the things that happen in the environment which set the occasion for an animal to do something. So um, from the picture, uh, this open container of garbage has made this dog decide that he would like to you know, explore a little further because there might be something worth his while in there. Whereas in the second picture, uh, we put the garbage in the cupboard. Here's my little green pointer here, right? Garbage in the cupboard. Um, and so the animals don't have access to it. So it is no longer an issue. The antecedent is gone uh, and they know that and they don't try to get into the garbage. So most behavior is elicited through some type of a, of a stimulus, which is, also, which is what we call an antecedent. Um, so sometimes they can be controlled and sometimes they can't. But if they can control them, this is the best way to do it. Because if the problem isn't there to begin with, it's not so I was going to talk about stress, and I forgot to do it on the last slide, so I'm going to address that right now. But um, if an animal is not healthy, that is added stress for him. Um, if he's sick, if he doesn't feel well, if he has an in injury that he has to get around, if he's bored, all of these things create stress in their life. So by addressing them, you're actually removing stress. Now, on the second tier, the antecedent control tier, um, if the antecedent isn't there, there is no stress because the animal isn't even trying to get into the garbage in this case or whatever it is that is a problem for we humans. And we always have to remember that, you know, most of the behavior that animals display is pretty normal. I mean, in the wild, it, nobody would think twice about it, but when we bring them into our living environment, then it becomes a problem. So garbage, dogs getting into garbage is, I mean, they are scavengers, that's how they eat. So it's a perfectly normal situation from the dog's point of view. Uh, but we don't want them getting in our garbage, we don't want garbage scattered all over our house and we then have to go pick it up. So it is a problem for us, but it's an easily resolved problem. Mm -hmm.